here we are going to discuss uh, in detail what are the conditions for active regions saturation region and cut off regions so so before that so there will be two types of transistor that is npn and pnp transistor this is a symbol see whenever npn is there so at the emitter the direction of current is outward in npn reason is whenever there is a diode whenever it is forward by us always current flows from p to n only so that is why in npn so base to emitter junction is forward by us. so p to n the current direction similarly for pnp diode emitter by junction is emitter is p so it is forward by us means p to n is the current direction so that's why it is upward in pnp and or we can say into the emitter it is out of the emitter it is into the emitter in a pnp <coughs> now we will see regions of operations in or uh, modes of operation in of a BJT. So there will be four types cutoff region. So it is like a off switch. So cutoff means both junctions will be reverse bias that is current will be zero approximately. Similarly in active region it will act as an amplifier that means a small change at the input you will get large change in the at the output. So that is why it gives some amplification reasons are uh, the emitter by junction should be forward bias collector by junction should be reverse bias in saturation region it will behave as a on switch so both should be forward bias whenever there is a diode is on it will behave as a short circuit so it will as a look like like looking like a on switch in a reverse active region so it will behave as, as attenuator that means input ju input junction should be reverse bias output junction should be forward bias that means at the input if you we give some input so that will be decreased by some amount so beta times say the decrease or alpha times it will decrease so that will it will behave as a simply attenuator now we have to see what are the equations current equations in the active region so we know that the total current is equal to uh, emitter current is equal to collector current plus base current now Whenever input junction, emitter base junction is forward by us, we know that from the current diode equation that is IV characteristic, we know that reverse saturation current into E power VD diode voltage by eta VT. In uh, BJT, we always take eta as 1. So emitter base junction is forward by us, so emitter current is AS into E power VBE by VT. So this is an exponential relationship coming from the diode. Now, other, another two equations from the different configurations that is IC is equal to alpha times IE plus ICVO. Generally, we can neglect this, uh, the minority carrier currents. Similarly, in common uh, emitter configuration, it is IC is equal to beta times IB plus some minority carrier current. So, these two conditions or uh, equations are, are valid in active region only <coughs> because suppose where there is a small change at the input you will get some large changes at the output if this is valid in active region only right because so that we'll see later in saturation region what will happen now once we know this so ic is approximately ie by this expression so alpha is equal to approximately one so i can write ic is like this ic is equal to is into e power vb by bt that is the reason if there is a small change at the input base to emitter voltage you will get large change at the output current or collector current <coughs> now so so we know that conditions that is forward bias reverse but generally when the transistor is in a circuit so what should be the different voltage levels for the any transistor if it is taking as a n p n emitter base junction should be forward bias that means the cut in voltage of a diode is 0.7 volt for silicon so VBE should be 0.7 volt now collector by junction should be reverse bias now collector is n terminal n type semiconductor base is p10 so whenever it when it will become reverse bias when vc is greater than vb that is n for n uh, type semiconductor we have to give more voltage compared to base so that's why vc should be greater than vb or vcb is greater than zero generally sometimes we will see vbc should be less than zero in npn so we if we multiply this minus that will become vpc less than zero or if these conditions are not we cannot find suppose if we find directly vce whenever vc is greater than 0.2 volts then all, then also we can say that it is in active mode similarly the per pnp diode this is opposite see emitter is at p and p so emitter should be greater than 
base by 0.7 volt. Similarly, for collector base junction, VC should be less than VB. Why? Because B, B, VB is our base is N type semiconductor. So, for N type, we have to give more voltage compared to the collector. So, that's why VBC is greater than 0, or we can say VCB is less than 0. Or, so it is not VC, it is VEC should be. So, take mod. Right? So, in this case, VCE, in this case, VEC. Right? Now, for our saturation conditions, what is the voltage levels? So, for VB, whenever it is followed by us, it should be either greater than or equal to 0.8 volt. So, generally, to differ from uh, active region, it is 0.8 volts. Generally, we can take as 0.7 also because for forward bias region. For uh, the collector bias junction, should be forward bias also. So, we have the voltage levels of VC sat is equal to 0.2 volts. But these two conditions are not valid in saturation region right why because whenever there is a two diodes that is p and p or a transistor p and and p so whenever these two are short circuited right so these currents will never depend on the any voltages like this right so that means these two conditions are not valid so what we will find is beta saturation that is we are forcefully assuming that this transistor is in a saturation region and then find IC by any I mean KCL KVL using then IV find then we can say that beta force or beta side is equal to IC side by IB side right so in the next lecture we will see for a given circuit suppose the circuit is given and find the region of operation suppose some circuit is given 1 kilo ohm 10 volts 2 kilo ohm 10 volts right so find the region of operation of this transistor so this type of circuits we have we will see and this type of questions will come and gate frequently right